welcome guys back to FR Ranch. Uh, on this episode, I'll show you tricks to save money on your windshield repair. Thanks to repair cracks, repair a bullseye and all chipped out windshield. So for example, a, an appointment for fixing a windshield is approximately $120 for fixing a bullseye or fixing a crack in a windshield. And this kit claims to be doing it for around $690. So today we're gonna look out if a $6 kit can save you a lot of money. So let's go, yeah, let's go test that out. So just for the occasion, I have a really bad chip in my windshield. So we're gonna be testing this easy to use, fix and reduce brake, minimize the appearance, advanced formula for multiple repair. Supposed to be a 20 minute repair. No special tools required, everything's in the kit, and of course, it's in Chinese. Those fucking Chinese, man, they're everywhere. You can see the, the chip in the windshield, it's pretty bad. It hasn't, hasn't spread so in out. In the kit, you have this little spider kind of thing that you stick on your windshield. Of course, before doing that, clean out the spot, clean out your windshield. Already done that. And also the kit is supposed to be good for multiple repair. We need to align the sucker point right here on the middle of the area that needs to be repaired. Just like that. So align the center point of the sucker support circle to the damage orifice. Press the sucker for more than one minute and install firmly. Rotate the pressure cylinder and in until the silica gel head contacts the glass and flattens it. Lift the pressure cylinder gently. It is tightened and not loosened. At this time, the silica gel head is squeezing and contracted. The aperture becomes smaller. Well, it's not that clear. Drop three or four drops of repair solution into the pressure cylinder. Slowly rotate. So you align this with the, the scrap, the hole. Yeah, so that's good. So now I squeezed the thing around the pressure cylinder so you see it's nice and tight, nothing moves. Okay, slowly drop three to four of recursive show into the pressure cylinder. Slowly rotate the pressure bar, observe the change of silica gel heads and breakage and carry out the corresponding pressure. Is there any good leaking of the bottom silica hell? Adjust the position of the cylinder head again. Remove the pressure bar and stay for one minute until the pressure bar to pressure again. Repeatedly operate until the repair fluid is completely squeezed into the wound. One, two, three, four drops in there. Now I'm gonna put the pressure bar and see it's there. Liquid dripping out. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in there just to be sure. That's enough. Supposed to have a change. Come on, the pressure bar and stay. So they're saying they leave the pressure for approximately one minute. It's been more than one minute, it's been around two, three minutes. And already, I cannot see the, 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 the cracks anymore. So this is a real good sign. I'm going to remove the, the pressure bar. And we're going to make our way go for the next repair. That's which, which is just a little bit higher of this one. Make sure the, the solution, whether with the sun or with a UV lamp. Since I don't have a UV lamp, I'll be using the sun. After that, we're gonna put a couple drops on 
on there and we're gonna apply transparent sheet and then we're gonna go and put that into the sun for the final results. Chill in the sun, and we're gonna go back and look in 20 minutes what it looks like. Almost invisible. And after that, you just need to scrape off the excess resin, just like that with the razor blade. Can already see that it's all it's way better than it was it's not perfect maybe if i would have let the product sink in a little bit longer well we can see at least that the crack don't spread that's the most important part that's the crack is not spreading across the windshield the rest i can live with it We're gonna take a look from the inside. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely worth uh, worth the try, and uh, definitely worth doing it yourself. Uh, you can save a uh, hundred and fourteen dollars by doing it yourself. Uh, this kit is available on eBay. If you don't have a UV light, just use the sunlight, let it cure for maybe uh, an hour or two, maybe more. I couldn't find the razor blade, so I left just like that, and I scraped off the excess resin just a couple of days after, and it cured, it cured really solid. So, can save you a lot of bucks. So, until next time, keep on wrenching!